So I'm at a friend's shop working on this uh, Harbor Freight dust collection unit. The motor seized up and, and uh, the bearings were locked up. So I freed them up and I put oil on it. But now it sounds, which is terrible. He, he actually was just gonna replace it with a new unit because back in the day, Harbor Freight was cheap enough that it would be cheaper than repairs. But you know, if you've noticed, prices going up there. So we're gonna actually get into it and put some new bearings in it, see if we can make it quiet. Let's listen. Now, that's not bad at all, is it? Very nice. All right, the bearing that was uh, seized up was the one on the front of the motor where the output shaft is that actually spins the impeller. So we're gonna get into it from here. We have to uh, take this cover off so we can remove the impeller. We got a little gasket here. We're gonna need a uh, Allen wrench. Remove this. All right, so we got a five millimeter Allen wrench here that fits. I don't remember if this is reverse thread or not. So we're just gonna go both directions and give it a try. Let's see. That feels like it's getting tighter. So it is, I suspect, a reverse thread. Oh yeah. So there's a lip here in case you needed to use something like a, a pulley puller, you could remove it. But this one is actually, I had it off just a few weeks ago or months ago. I don't even get time. And uh, it'll just pull right off because it was lubed. So this reveals these four bolts. So we need to, uh, you know, unmount it from the, the rolly cart to get these off. And then we can get access to the front of the motor to see that bearing. Listen to this. Yeah, that bearing is toast. It's completely silent. I right, got the housing and fan loose at the bottom. We're gonna use a 16 millimeter to remove it from the, uh, the motor. So this is actually his second Harbor Freight unit. The first one, the, the switch melted and I put a new switch on it and then it went, it started working again and then the motor burned up. And now this one, the motor's still working and the switch is still working, but it's the bearings have gone bad. So they're, they're great and he uses it quite a bit. I guess they don't last all that long because you get what you pay for. But I'm kind of thinking that Harbor Freight is raising their prices too high for the quality of the product they sell. The bearing is under here, you know, under this plate. So we'll take these three off. All right, so the five millimeter is feeling pretty good here. See how tight this is. All right, not so bad. So to get this off, it can take some doing, but uh, you know, first time I took this off, <laughs> it, it was a little bit of effort, but you just pry and pry and pry. And you can eventually work it off. Then after a while, <laughs> you can just work it out. And I guess this is a good thing for uh, the puller that, that this, the bearing decided to stay on the shaft. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this whole motor with me. It's just uh, four bolts now to get it loose. And I'm gonna work on this at my home shop because I'm more familiar with uh, where my tools are. I wanna find some good quality bearings for this. I'm gonna go to Purvis Bearing. Um, I think they sell like top tier stuff like Japanese bearings and all sorts of stuff. All right, let's see if we can get this bearing off. I'm gonna start with uh, cleaning it up. Let's put a little uh, lubrication on there. This is just penetrating oil. Let's try a pulley puller. Oh yeah, that's working. And now with it off, we can see the numbers on it. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the back side, see what it would look like to get into this bearing. This side has a plastic fan and a uh, lock ring. what it takes to pull this fan off though. Don't want to break it. Let's try some screwdriver action down low. See what happens. It's real gentle. I'm just gonna work my way around it very carefully. I'm just twisting the screwdriver slow. Finally, it took a long time, but it's finally starting to come off. Careful, careful. Whew. Okay, I'm gonna just See what happens when I take this off. The, the whole shaft will probably pull out because I imagine the uh, 
the bearing is just as stuck on this end. But it might not be since it's more protected from dust. All right, so once you pry it loose, you can scoot it out a bit. So I'm gonna take a Phillips head and stick it in a ratchet wrench and disconnect these wires. All right, and with these two wires disconnected, I'm just gonna pull the whole thing out. Let's try some uh, gentle persuasion first. What if I can tap it out? Maybe eventually. Whew. To get this bearing out, I'm gonna need to drive it. It still feels nice and tight though. It's not making any noise. Let me just see what these bearings cost and then I'll decide if I wanna replace it or not. All right, so you see these two bearings? The different sizes. The inside one is smaller than the outside one. So I don't know if there's much utility in replacing a bearing that's not worn out, but uh, we're going to do it. Let's break these loose. So I think this is like the governor. So this is some has points on it. Tick, 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 tick. And then uh, this has, you know, the, these little, it's like a centrifugal clutch that so these pull out and that comes out. So. I guess when it starts spinning too fast, it, it turns itself off and it just regulates speed that way. Let's set this aside and be gentle with it. So there's really nothing wrong with this bearing. Makes no noise. It's a little bit of play in it, but it's really not bad. I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to use a little punch. I'm going to tap around. Okay, so here are the, uh, this is the rear bearing. What's that say? 6204 RS. And this says 6205 RS. But I'm just going to take them to Purvis bearing and have them uh, match them for me. This is where I like to buy my bearings. Uh, Purvis Industries. Sometimes these big supply houses seem kind of intimidating and they don't want to mess with, you know, someone that just wants a single bearing. But this place has always treated me right and uh you know they're very local <laughs> they're very close to me so i just set it on the counter say i'm looking for one of these they either identify it by the number or if it's really rusty and you can't read anything they'll uh pull out the micrometer and get you what you need it cost uh 46.59 for these two skf bearings he says uh these are tier one bearings and they're you know they're made in bulgaria bulgaria but they're made with american steel and they're, you know, some of the best on the, on the planet, maybe. Uh, I asked him about Japanese bearings, and he said that the Japanese bearings are above Chinese, but below the quality of these from, from their experience. That's interesting. All right, so here's the part numbers. Uh, I'll have them down in the description below. All right, so let's uh, just reassemble. Clean. I'm going to uh, just take a drop of oil. This is just motor oil was gonna help it get in there okay not so much there's barely any let's see if we can drive this in with our uh, plastic dead blow without making a big mess let's finish it off with a large socket I think that's all she'll do. I'm going to reassemble this. Then we're going to put these two wires back on. One here and one here. And it'll be in that position. And then with those wires connected, we're just going to push this in. I'm going to get it close enough that we can you know, start our bolts. And we'll just torque these bolts down in a circle a little bit at a time until we get everything nice and flush. We need a little bit more of this shaft sticking out this, this hind end here. So I'm just gonna give a few little love taps. You see it just moving right out. And this was very tight, so I might wait to put this on until I get the other side together so I can hammer on it. All right, same story over here. This is clean. I'm just gonna put a tiny, tiny amount of oil you really don't want a lot of oil getting flung all around in the inside of the motor, you know. 
I'm gonna start this one with well, this one just will fall right in there. Let's do our love taps. This one seats all the way down in here, which is fascinating to me. Hopefully the other one isn't uh, going to be problematic. Ooh. Here's something that we might need to adjust once we're with the machine again. I don't remember where these bolt holes go. I think they were square. <laughs> I actually had to look at my video footage. Um, so the bolt pattern is is up, down, side, side. So it's a plus. So that's this is how it'll go on. And this is seeming to push on pretty well for me. I just have to get that close enough that I can get a bite with with these guys and then I'll use the threads to pull it on so let me do some very gentle persuasion and then that'll get me a bite nice I'm just gonna pull the cover on the motor with with this you know just whatever that is uh, a third of a turn at a time maybe a half a turn at a time keep it flat so that feels pretty good it's completely silent and you can see that it's pushed this out far enough that we can use it so I'm gonna get this lined up and more very gentle taps let's use another socket you know there's a little bit of crud a little plastic that came off let's clean out where that goes and then let's put this lock ring back on. Perfect. Let's put this uh, fan shield on, flat side down. We are fully assembled. It spins free, it's plugged in. Let's see what it sounds like. Nice. The loudest noise is the air flowing over it. Perfect. Wait, how do we do okay sign? Perfect. Okay, I just realized I almost screwed the screwed myself up. I left the keyway in. Imagine if that keyway had come out. I either would have never found it or would knock the tooth out. Lost an eye. Okay. Be careful with the keyway. Alright, I got it fully assembled. He's got a uh, a remote for powering his on and off is pretty nice. Let's listen. Now, that's not bad at all, is it? Very nice. So, if this video was useful to you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I'll catch y'all later. See you around.